Battle of the sports teams to the battle for the White House. Two plus weeks until Election Day, although with early voting, many Americans will have already turned in their ballots. Besides, how many voters haven't yet made up their minds? Exactly. For those still up in the air, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump trying to make their case. Mike Marza here with who's on tour and where. Michael? Bill, think about this. Just 18 days, 18 days to go in what is now a sprint to the White House. Michigan, the main focus today. The state has the largest Arab population in the United States, so of course the war in the Middle East is a major campaign issue. So are jobs. Labor unions traditionally leaning Democratic, but this year they may be more up for grabs. Harris and Trump both stumping in the battleground state right now. I'm going to keep running because the winner don't quit on themselves. Against the backdrop of Western Michigan's changing leaves, Vice President Harris. Are you ready to make your voices heard? Is hoping to turn out the vote. Now is the time to make your plan to vote. Make a plan. Make a plan. Joined by Democratic governors. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. Like Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer introducing the lineup, including New York Governor Hochul. Please welcome my friend who has raised wages and expanded quality, affordable child care and brought bagels from New York this morning, Governor ha Kathy Hochul. Hochul didn't speak, but is part of the so-called Blue Wall bus tour, hoping to fortify the traditional Democratic stronghold of Wisconsin, Pennsylvania and Michigan three of the seven key battleground states that will likely decide the election. Do we believe in the promise of America? Yeah. And are we ready to fight for it? Yeah. And when we fight, we win. Former President Trump won the White House eight years ago, winning Michigan by less than 12,000 votes. He just touched down to Detroit for a rally tonight. We're leading. Uh, I've given my health exams. I've also done cognitive tests twice, and I've aced them, meaning a perfect score. I want to see her do a cognitive test because she couldn't ace because she wasn't born smart. Trump attacked Harris and President Biden, but praised Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu. Look, he's doing a good job. Biden is trying to hold him back. Just so you understand, Biden is far superior to the, to the VP. Uh, he's trying to hold him back and they probably should be doing the opposite. The former president traveling to Michigan from New York, where he appeared on Fox and Friends this morning. I am the most stable human being. Remember, they said uh, a stable genius. I am the most stable <laughs> human being. I've former President Trump speaking tonight again in Detroit, a city he just insulted last week, saying mm -hmm. if he loses the election, the whole country would end up like Detroit, a city that has been in the past plagued with crime and financial issues. By the way, the election in that state right now showing a virtual tie in the latest polls. And guys, yeah. we also know that Vice President Harris had her surrogates out there, former Presidents Obama and Clinton on the trail for her in Arizona and North Carolina. Again, part of this key battleground state map. We know a week from this Sunday, former President Trump will be holding a rally at the Garden here in New York. His campaign telling us it will largely focus on the migrant crisis, which we know how much this city has been impacted by that. Second time he's had a big rally in New York in a month and a half. So yep, that's kind yep. of interesting. And, and first one at the Garden, which yep. would be significant less than a week out or a little bit more than a week out from the election. Billy Joel won't be there. That's my guess. <laughs> he will not. He will not. <laughs>